Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 11 of Vault Hunters 1.18. We are just three knowledge essences away from being able to create another knowledge star and unlock a storage system. So we should definitely be doing that today. Our pickaxe is almost broken, so I am ready to make another one here. And I've picked out three different jewels to put on it. So we've got this perfect jewel with loads of things on it, which makes it a mattock. That's quite cool. And then I want to make it cell bound. And then a chip uh, copiously, which I think is just basically fortune as far as I'm aware. And then we want to enchant it, of course. Although I don't have that much experience on me. I think I kind of want to wait and get the efficiency 4. So I'm going to wait till I can level up and get the efficiency 4 on it. But that's a pretty good pickaxe I've got there. Well, mattock now. Oh yes, and we've still got our bounty going. Where we just need ben one to mine one more benetite ore. We've got an elixir vault. Oh, uh, that didn't go so well. I was trying to break a spawner and I was so close. I thought I'd just persist with it, but then they just beat me to death. I've got, I get to keep my stuff. That's fine. I can keep my stuff. Let's just get straight into another vault. Right, I've come back into another vault here, and it was another elixir one. I'm very close to being able to get out of here. There's a lodestone right there, and there's plenty of spawners around. Ow, okay, well, I'm getting beat up. Vault complete. I couldn't find any gems to mine. I should be able to make the knowledge star now, though. But I couldn't find any gems to complete my bounty, which is unfortunate. But at least we've got something done. Right, so let me just clear out my inventory and we can get going on a storage system. Right, we've got ourselves a new shield here. It is 8% block chance as opposed to the 9% we've already got on. But this one is about to break. And this one says it offers a healing cloud when hit, which is definitely something which would be very useful. So we are going to swap out our shield. Boom! Right, oh, wrong button, this one. And now we should be able to unlock simple storage network is the one I want. A nice, easy storage system. So, I just need to set up a place with a bunch of chests. Oh, it needs... It needs some vaults stuff to craft it. Got loads of laminar, so that's fine. Driftwood it needs. Okay, I think this should be fine. Okay, I think I'm mostly set up, ready to set up this storage system. I have placed down loads of chests down in a little room down here. I'm cooking up some glass in the furnaces because we need that. Oh, I deleted it. Because um, we need lots of glass to make the cable. What I don't have is quartz. That's the only thing left I think I need to get. So I've gone off and mined a small bit of obsidian, just the perfect amount to set up a nether portal, which I'm going to chuck in right here. We need to go deeper. Oh my god, okay. Right, I thought I was surrounded by lava then for a second. Let's see if I can remember how to do waypoints. Create waypoints. So I just need a bit of quartz, that's it. That shouldn't be too hard to find. There's some right there. Just need enough for four blocks. Oh, there's a fortress right there. How lucky. I may come back and explore that sometime. If I ever have a need for it. Let's just head straight back out of here. 
Okay, so I should have everything I need to start the system. So the network route, I'm going to stick in there. And then I'm going to connect it to a crafting grid there, which hasn't got anything hooked up to it yet. They're hooked together like that. And then we just bring it down here and set up a bunch of links. Oh, I forgot about that. I forgot that it was one link per chest. Right, okay. I've got, it's fine. Okay, problem avoided. The chests have just been moved over. So now everything connects. Do you know, I found it quite funny when I was mining this out. I saw the chromatic iron right under my feet the entire time. Back in the first episode, I spent absolutely ages searching for some of that. And it was right there this whole time. Okay, so now that should all be connected. Yes, I have already been chucking some stuff down there. So that all works. So now I just need to chuck all of my items in there. All right, let's get going. I'm just going to mine everything out. Chuck it down in here. Look at this space opened up now. It is looking much nicer and it's going to be so much easier coming out of vaults, just being able to dump all of my items into one place rather than sorting them out into specific chests. But there's just so much storage down here. This is going to last me a long while. And if I need more, I just add more and I'll just extend. I'll carry on going. So, I guess we should just head into the next vault. Let's go. We have got another elixir vault. Oh, I haven't got any scaffolding. Okay, maybe I chucked too much away. It's fine, I can get some scaffolding. No! I got trapped in a corner! Why am I failing vaults so often? I mean, I keep getting immensely lucky by having beginner's grace still for whatever reason. But I'd barely made my way into that vault. Okay, we're in a monolith vault now and I've found a little gem vein. Hopefully you find some beniotite so I can complete my bounty. And we can get on to starting a new one. I mean, I'm not looking very lucky here. No. There's never what I need there to be. Aha! Found one in another vein. That's the bounty complete. Um, I take it I can't choose a new bounty from this screen. That would be too convenient. Well, let's keep mining up what we can from in here. Aha! We found the first monolith. I'm gathering up so many snowballs here, because look, every now and then, you'll fall down the powdered snow. Which just makes it very difficult. Where's the spawner in here? There it is. Right. I'm not going to be able to break it in time, because I've already been standing too near it. But if we just kill what's here now, then I might have a chance at breaking it, if I'm quick enough. I have my fear ability to use, if they manage to spawn, though. Okay, leave me alone for a second. I don't think that even worked then. But at least there are plenty of gems to be mining. I haven't seen too many living chests, so I've not been getting much knowledge essence. And second monolith found. I think I might just make my way out of here now. Okay, we are just leaving the vault now. Level 18. That is fantastic. We didn't get much loot, but we got some good stuff. And now we have our bounty. What are we going to go for now? So we've got submit 90 diamonds. Does that mean they're going to take my diamonds? I've not been collecting diamonds for a while. And mine laminar ore or again. How many diamonds do I even have? Okay, I have more than enough. 
Aha, there we go, did it. Bounty complete, and then we just have to mine some more laminars. So much loot. Come on, give me something nice. Mm, healing cloud is good, but other than that, no. 14 attack damage, very nice. But the chaining attack I do like. And yeah, none of that's really worth it. Let's get into the next vault. Okay, we are ready to go into our next vault. What are we going to go get this time? More monoliths. I cannot wait until we get a new kind of vault. I, I so wish there were more options than there currently are. Aha! We have the first monolith. I haven't been finding anything I really want yet. No living chests or gem mines. Whoa, what is this? Is this an elite mob? Elite husk. We should be able to get some good experience for this. Oh, and a monolith. Fantastic. By the way, my chest plate has broken. My It was an epic chest plate or legendary or something, but it was a good chest plate. So I'm sad to have lost it. So I do need to be extra careful. Ah, did he just spawn him? No, I don't want to fight you. Okay. Don't die. Luckily, he's quite slow. But that should have gotten some good X XP. Now, just got one more monolith to find, and then we are out of here. And there it is, literally in the next room over. So we are going to head straight back. Right, we've just come out. Yeah, not level 19. I didn't think we would get there. We do need a really good chest plate now. Not a sword. Chest plate. I'm going to have to search through all of the items I've got and choose my best one. 10% block chance. Okay, I kind of want the higher block chance. The healing cloud didn't ever seem to do much, so I'm just going to switch. Okay, we've got a new chest plate on. It has six armor and soul bound. It's not great, but it is the best we had. Ready to go into the next vault. Let's go. If we can get to level 19 after this vault, that would be fantastic. Which I don't think is going to be that hard to do. Uh, still, Larimar collecting, bounty, and we have elixir. Let's go. Oh no. I've been in one of these rooms before. And it has not gone very well. Would there be chests up there before I, before I do make a huge mistake and mine down into that X marks the spot? We're going to have a quick look to see if there's anything up here. No. Okay, there's nothing. Right, so... Ow! I'm not, I'm not too great at those. But the way I remember it is, I went down here... Oh, I can't break that. I went down here... And it opened up into a room absolutely packed full of creatures who just wanted to kill me. That's probably enough. Right, so. There we go. So, so what happens? Is it just endless spawners? Are there spawners somewhere that I need to find? I mean, I'm sure this is definitely going to help build my elixir bar. Would there be spawners behind here? This looks like a... a sp something. Ow, okay. Yeah, there as well. I feel like that would be where you would go to hide spawners. 
It doesn't look like anything else is spawning, so it may just be a finite amount of enemies. But there's no loot. Maybe the loot is behind those little things there. Are they getting damaged by the jump boost? Ow. Yeah, look, there's another spider. Okay. Right. I feel like they're definitely spawning from somewhere. Ow. Not good. Not good. Okay. Ow. Okay. Try and not do that again. Try and not do that again. That really screwed me there. Good thing I have the fear ability. Ow! Right. Okay, I've killed all the spiders. Nope, there's more. Okay, yeah, there's definitely more spawning. And I can't see any sort of rewards of being down here. So I am just going to leave. Oh, there's more up here! How high did I build my tower? Pretty high. Okay. So, I didn't get any sort of benefit from that. My elixir bar barely filled up. I managed to survive, which is more than I can say for the last time I went down one of these. Okay, and here's a new type of room that I've never seen before. It looks quite cool. Is that glass or is that like an actual fog block? Are there going to be spawners? I'm not hearing any. Is that a cookie jar? Cool. I'll take a cookie jar. This this looks like it's some sort of loot room because there's just a whole bunch of loose in here and no spawners. Pretty nifty. But we do need to carry on. Because we've got eight minutes left, and we're not even half full on elixir. Right, we have just under three minutes left, and I've just about managed to complete the vault. And I know there is a lodestone just down here. Just in time. There was a nice little bit of an ore vein there, so we do have some gems. Not much. We still need to get five more to complete our bounty. We have so many armor pieces to sort through. This should definitely get us to level 19. Come on. Yes. So next episode, we definitely should be able to get to level 20. No problem. And get into a new kind of vault. I think I just saw a cool shield there, didn't I? Yes. Epic plus shield. Only 8% block chance. Ah, uh, no thanks. Oh, I forgot to do the axe. What else have we got? So, magnets. So, what magnet have we got on at the moment? 3.3 and 4. So, no, that's no good. That one's better. And it's soul bound. And it gives better mining speed. So, there's the new magnet there. Six armor. Nine and a half attack damage. Mm. Oh, 14 and a half attack damage sword. Yes, that's much better than what I've got at the moment. And it gives a poison cloud. So it looks like I have a new sword. All right, so that is this episode over with. We have got... A new sword, which we do need to enchant, and still that. I'm just going to wait to level 30. We also need to enchant our new leggings and chest piece. Looks like we might need a new helmet soon. And in the next episode, I'm so sure we'll be able to make it to level 30. Level 20, sorry. Not level 30. Level 20. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you then. Goodbye.